we are going to solve a problem using the second property of differential operators, right? We have done half of it in our previous class. So, we have obtained, we have considered the question as d plus 3 whole power 4 into y is equal to 0. Then we multiplied both the sides by e power 3x. So, we obtained in the given format, right? So, what we did is f of d minus a. So, we added and sub, uh, sorry, we have subtracted by my 3. So, we obtained d power 4 into e power 3x into y is equal to 0. Now, what I will do is for the simplification purpose, put capital letter y is equal to e power 3x into y. So, after simplification, we will re-substitute the value of capital Y. So, I will get d power 4 into capital Y is equal to 0. Now, here since the power is 4, we will differentiate it 4 times with respect to x. So, first differentiation when I do it, so what I will get d cube into y, sorry not differentiation, you have to integrate it. 4 times with respect to y, sorry with respect to x, 4 times you have to integrate it. So, first time when I integrate it, I get d cube y is equal to c1. Okay. Next, once again I have to integrate. So, when I integrate once again, I will get d square y is equal to c1 x plus a constant c2. Now, once again I will integrate it, I will get dy is equal to c1, x integration is x square by 2 plus c2 x plus once again a integration constant. So, once again I will integrate, I will get the value y is equal to c1, x is x cube by 3, so I will get x cube by 6 plus c2 x square by 2 plus c3 x plus a integration constant. Now, what next? So, I will replace here with the sum constant. So, to uh, just for the representation purpose, so that I will get y is equal to, here c1 by 6 I will represent it as k1 x cube plus c2 by 2 I will represent as k2 x square plus k3 x plus k4. So, here we have represented using k1, k2, k3 and k4. But what is y? So, we have substituted e power 3 x into y as capital Y. So, that is equal to k1 x cube plus k2 x square plus k3 x plus k4. So, what next? Here e power 3 x is it. If I take it to the other side, I will get e power minus 3 x. So, this is k1 x cube plus k2 x square plus k3 x plus k4 the whole into e power minus 3x. So, this is the solution of the given equation f of d. So, these are the two properties of the differential operators. First one is if e power ax into f of d is there, then you can write e power ax into f of a. And the second property is e power ax into f of d into y is there. Then you can replace it as f of d minus a into e power ax into y. Now we will study the linear equation with constant coefficients. So first I will consider the equation f of d into y is equal to 0. So you know that f of d is nothing but the differential operator of order n. So, I can write it as a naught d power n plus a 1 d power n minus 1 plus so on up to a n minus 1 d plus a n into y is equal to 0. So, uh, we here all these a i's are nothing but the 
constants. So here we are trying to find the general solution of this given equation f of d into y is equal to 0. So before finding the general solution what we do is we will write this we will write this in the auxiliary equation then we find the roots of this auxiliary equation. So using that we will write the general solution of the given equation f of d into y is equal to 0 where all a is are constants. Now auxiliary equation the roots of the auxiliary equation may be real may be distinct may be same may be imaginary or may be repeated roots. So what are the thing what will happen when they are real what will happen when they are imaginary what will happen if they are distinct how to write the general solution we will see in our we will see now. So you have uh, you have the equation f of d into y is equal to 0. So as I said first we write the auxiliary equation and find the uh, roots of the auxiliary equation. Then using the roots of that we write the general solution. Now roots of the auxiliary equation. Now suppose the roots of the auxiliary equation are real and distinct. What will happen? I will consider the auxiliary equation f of m is equal to 0. Real roots, so I will consider m1, m2, so on up to mn as the roots of this equation f of m is equal to 0. Now how you will write the general solution? So if this is a form, then we write the general solution as y is equal to c1 into e power m1x plus c2 into e power m2x plus so on up to cn into e power mnx. This is a case where we write the general solution in this form when, when we have the real and the distinct roots. Okay, now we will solve one problem and check how, to, uh, how we can obtain the general solution of that equation. So first we have to consider the equation. So that is d cube into y minus 4d square y plus dy and uh, plus 6y is equal to 0. So first what we have to do, we have to write the auxiliary equation and find the roots of those auxiliary equation. So this becomes m cube y minus 4m square. So here we will eliminate y directly I will write the final step here. So I will get m cube minus 4m square plus 4m sorry plus m plus 6 is equal to 0. So we will find the roots of this auxiliary equation. So this is the equation a of power 3. First we have to find one root of it using the trial and error method. Clearly if I substitute 0 I will not get equal to 0. If I substitute 1 I will get 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 6. You can observe here you will not get 0. So what if I substitute minus 1 whether I will get equal to 0 or not. We will see that in our next class. Thank you.